Good evening. Hello. Happy Thursday. <laughs> yeah, it's a great Thursday. Thirsty Thursday for some lemonade. Cheers. Salute. Steve. All right, Meg, what are we talking about tonight? We're talking about our weeks. We're going to do this We're going to do this week. weekly because we are so entertaining, <laughs> we're so cool, and, like, we need to get famous fast. So, I'm kidding. Yes. We're... Yeah, I'm just kidding. Jokester. <laughs> um, but you know, we'll every week and see what see where it goes. Wait, what were we talking about earlier though? You were talking about how hard it is to live in California and how expensive it is. And everyone thinks that they're like, Oh, but you look like you're having so much fun in all your pictures and videos. It's like, yeah, but we're still coming home and, like, how are we going to pay for our car insurance? <laughs> yeah, and we're crying, like, so, every day. No, but we're okay and we're lucky. We're very fortunate that we're able to do this and we're not in a comfort zone. Yeah, definitely not in our comfort Learning zone. Learning a lot. What? Yeah. We're going to look back on this day and be, like, so happy we went through it. Yeah, that we didn't give up. That's well, money shouldn't be the circle of your world because at the end of the day... It's not gonna matter when something happens to you. It's gonna cause stress, but yeah, like, it is what it is. Yeah, like uh, yeah, like car insurance. Like they say, it's it's expensive to live in California, and I was like, okay, like rent is high, mm. but <laughs> no, like registering your car from out of state to in state. I don't really know how that works going to a different state, but California, two hundred fifty dollars. I'm like, okay, that sucks, but how many more things can be bad? Well, car insurance. I was paying 90 for really good coverage in Washington. The lowest I have found for the coverage that I is even somewhat close to what I was getting is like 160 a month. Um, and I since I got a speeding ticket, the first one in like, I don't even know, six years. <laughs> six days. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's making my insurance go up. Uh, two, one place said it went up $30 a month for three years, and then another place said it went up $100 a month for three years. That's California, too. It's a point system. Um, I know, should have gotten it deferred, but I screwed that one up. But? Downward spiral. <laughs> but I'm going to get Spirals don't go down. swimming up. Spirals definitely go down. No, but they. I don't know, but if you walk around a mountain, <laughs> they go up like this. Yeah. Mhm. Mm but I decided today that I am going to go for it and be confident and know that I can get out of this situation. I can survive and I can uh, I Prosper. can get by. Yeah. And I can make something of myself. Yes. It's not going to be the conventional job like I always thought I was going to be doing, like, you know, successful. <laughs> like, with uh, what you use your degree for and this and that. <laughs> <laughs> I... Where's your arrow? <laughs> I am going oh, that's where my arm to possibly try and be a fitness trainer. And... And do a lot of, that's like super flexible and I can do a lot of different things on the side and I don't have any idea. I have no idea. I'm so lost. It's great though. <laughs> You're not as lost as you think you are. I am so lost and I am getting... Meg, people living in their parents' houses and not knowing where they're doing their life are lost. You are not lost. Yeah, but you I don't... old you got here and now it's like you're in a new phase and now you got to figure it out. Yeah. yeah. We haven't been here for like two years. We've been here for two months. I know, but financially, yeah. like, well, yeah, financially, we're all struggling. Out of money. Yeah, because we're in our twenties. <laughs> That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> it is what it so is. Hard. We're struggling, and we're in our twenties. But heck, we're in San Diego, and we are thriving off of that. And tomorrow, we're gonna have a great day. We're gonna go outside. <laughs> this is my last year <laughs> in my twenties. Okay, so we're still in our 20s. Age is really starting to affect me. It's really making me feel pressure. 
So I feel a lot less pressure because I look at Meg and I'm like, we're the same and she's older and I'm like, it's okay. So it's Oh, okay. great. It's good. Are you serious? What? You feel less pressure because you compare yourself to me and think that I'm older and I haven't figured it out? Because I feel like I don't have, I feel like all my friends are like married, not married, in okay. serious relationships, happiness, and I'm like, or I'm like, <laughs> he doesn't live in, in where, where I came from and they're all like, boop, 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 A, B, C, D, and then I was like, A, B, California, and I feel like yeah. you're like that too, like we yeah. don't do things in our norms, like let's get out of our comfort zones, let's get away from our parents and like yeah. challenge ourselves. Yeah, yeah. So like why rush, why rush? No, why? No, don't rush. Anything. Exactly. So figure it out, but pay the bills. I have to pay the Wi Fi now. Um, tomorrow. I might have been slacking on it. But I did just get paid today. So good. We will have that paid. Don't worry about us. Um, yeah, we'll be, we'll, we'll be up and running to start. Look, we're hitting, like, we can, I just my hand looks so long. <laughs> um, okay, what was the other thing we were going to talk about when we were sitting right there? Uh, oh, what? Meg doesn't know how to read me. She thinks I'm very challenging um, to read. Yeah. That's odd another thing we're talking about. She is. I'm oh, not. yes. Holding your feelings in. Oh, holding your feelings in. We are, like, probably on the end of the spectrums. Like, mm -hmm. I hold my feelings in, and I don't think... I feel like you're, I, you are very open with how you I really feeling. can't hold them in, but sometimes I do, and it's not good for me. <laughs> well, what? When I hold them in. Right. But when I let them out, it's also not really the best thing. Right, so what do you do? Me? What's? <laughs> I'm just a mess. <laughs> she is not a mess. I'm such a mess. You're making yourself sound like you're a mess. Because I am. Guys. Okay. Okay, well, one thing we do need to get straight here is Ali does cry, okay? <laughs> I cry. Olivia. When, do I cry to a lot of people? No. Do I cry to Meg, who is one of my best friends now and my roommate? Know. That's the first time you so, said that. So, <laughs> obviously I'm going to cry to her when I'm stressed and overwhelmed, okay? Yeah. And there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, there's not. And just because she doesn't post her videos about crying, she does cry. Yeah, but I feel like I cry about realistic, I feel like they're cryable well, yeah. cries. Yeah. Right, Meg? But mine are just like... You cry. Yeah, I know. But you cry too for the reasonable cry cries. Yeah, but like mine last so long and... That's because you feel them through. I'm like, I'm happy. And I'm like, ah! We talked about this. I feel them very fast and they're fleeting. And she has more sustained. It's like attention when you have fleeting attention attention and then sustained. Yeah. But everyone is different. Everybody is different. Mm -hmm. Everybody's path is different. Like, yes. Ugh. But I always uh, wonder, like, why, what made you, do, like, that way and what made me this way? The you stars. <laughs> I'm a Virgo. I'm a Sag. A Terios. My birthday is coming up, guys. So subscribe! <laughs> It was just my birthday. So subscribe because you, I bet, didn't wish her a happy birthday on YouTube. Not on YouTube, no. So, okay. yeah. We gotta get to, like, some point here. Our cause... point is that... <laughs> uh, okay, our point is that, oh, this week Allie got three flat tires. Three. Three. Yeah. So whoever's doing this... <laughs> No, I literally, any ideas. the third one, I, like, the guy comes, the pump, the tow, tower guy comes, and I was like, I think someone slashed my tire. I literally was like, I think someone slashed it, because I was like, this is the third ha time it's happening, and then he was like, no, I see the nail, it's right there. I'm like, oh. But you can just put nails in tires, too. Yeah, so I don't know who's doing that. I have, like, no bad blood in San Diego. So Ali got three flat tires, and I... Ali's week was, was rough right. too, but also good. Yes. She, I went to church. Yeah. She, and that made me feel a lot better. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I couldn't go because I was trying to convince Meg to come, even though they sing a lot, I but I think she liked the music. I don't really like singing. You but don't have to sing if you don't want to. I won't. I didn't. I well, actually, I kind of did. Well, I'll sing, like, really awkwardly every now and then, and I'm just like, uh. 
The yeah. music's like today's Christian music, so it's and it was live. That's what I told her. I was like, Meg, it's live. The guy has a phenomenal voice. The girl has a great voice, and they're playing the guitar and the piano, and you're just sitting there, and you're like, why am I not this gifted? Can you guys just send us some questions, and we'll just answer them? Yeah, say what, <laughs> not, don't send weird questions. Don't ask if you're asking weird questions, like. I'm gonna be like this. I'm gonna be like, you're, that's weird. I'm not trying to be mean. Mm, I'm gonna so block like, you. So there. That's what's gonna happen. Yes, and what's weird to one person is not weird to another, and we understand that. But, right, but if you're like saying some things about like my feet. Ellie! <laughs> 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 I, haven't, I haven't done anything about that one. Yet. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm, okay, well, yep, yeah, paralyzed feet. Um, it's not, okay, okay, let's try and focus and get on something that, like, is gonna be meaningful. Yeah, I, feel like, I feel like they like this better. Just, it's like, we're, remember that one person commented, it was like, we're sitting across the table from Yeah. Them. You're like, you're just sitting on our coffee table? Are you sitting on our coffee table and two pillows? <laughs> Do you feel like that right now? <laughs> okay, okay, how about this? How about we just talk about... Talk about... Mm. How about this? Just that I think something is seriously wrong with me. Why are you such a Because I cry all the time and I am just like, I'm just like, just, just like thinking what is wrong with me? Why am I so weak? Why can't I handle things? I keep comparing myself to everybody around me. I am like losing my mind. Allie's right here. Allie is awesome, successful, oh struggling right now, but definitely has a career path. Like a job that has. But you just said earlier retirement. You just said everything. earlier that you don't want that. Yeah. Career. No, that is something that would be great, but it's not. It's not my path. It's not something that like I feel. You have to find what's meaningful. Because yeah. I feel like my career, I get a lot of meaningful out of yeah. it. I like truly, I love it. Like I like what I do. Yeah. And maybe you know, like maybe as little fitness training. The motivational speaking, coaching, and like I can do all of that together. And then in the long run, you know, when it comes down to it and I have time and think like, okay, I can commit to a full time, like I, then maybe I'll do that. But I just have to try. If I don't try, I am never gonna forgive myself. And Something I always think about is just that regret that I felt after my accident when I was like, all the things that I took for granted and like didn't believe in myself and push it, and then I lost that opportunity, you know, like all of that was gone. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's like right now I'm 29 and I'm in a place where I can do this. I have all these opportunities, all these awesome people, everything around me, it's like there. And I know, like, that's what drives me crazy, is that I know I can do it. Do what? I don't, I don't want to go into. There's a lot of things I want to do. But um, I know I can do it. I know that I can make a difference, and I can, like, do my own thing and be successful. But I am so scared, and I just keep watching people's faces and, like, their reactions and thinking, oh, they don't, they think it's stupid, or they don't believe in it, and it's like, I'm waiting on someone else to believe in me the way that I need them to. Even though, yeah, there are plenty of people that do, but I'm just clinging on to those people that don't. And I'm like, it just like scares me and it makes me think I'm, I must be stupid or naive or think, you know, but the reality is I, I just, I do. I think I can do it. Hey, you can do anything you want. Yeah, like be successful as a you fitness trainer, successful. as a... Speaker, Guys, she won a gold kids. medal. I want to reach the children, you know? Like, and I can do that. I can, you I can. have something to offer that is unique, and everyone has their own thing. And my mm -hmm. thing, like, if someone else can do it, why can't I do it? I used to always think, too, so when they, they always said, you know, the most recovery you'll see, like, for a spinal cord injury will be in the first two years, and, like, so that always stressed me out because I was thinking every time I got closer to two years, I was like, oh no. And because I got my quad muscles back, I was like that in between. It wasn't like a... Hey, you bitch. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't like a, <clears throat> you're paralyzed and accept this. It was like, who knows what could happen 
and you also might not get anything and it was just like drove me crazy like I'm not trying hard enough I'm not this and that and uh so now when I think about oh like when I think about like they say only a small percentage ever you know can get full recovery it's like I don't I'm not talking about my full recovery I'm just talking about that small percentage like I always thought like well, why can't I be that small percentage? Like, why wouldn't I it's be? Because every injury is different, and there's like incomplete injury, incomplete, and incomplete. It's like a literal. It's literally. I remember reading it in school. It's like you, if you're on the Asia scale, there's it's it's really you're never gonna have a complete recovery from yeah. a spinal cord injury ever. Well, no matter how much you rehab. And well, I mean, but in the beginning they people. don't know anything, and I'm not even talking about like walking. I'm just talking about when people think, you know, the people that make it big or like you know start from being poor and they just like like I just don't want to struggle and of course I can do that like why couldn't I you just have to not give up there's a lot of people in your situation who went if the same thing that happened to you happened to them they wouldn't be where you are right now like you know a lot of people like never ever actually mentally recover from it not saying we are yeah that's true and uh, and yet I still think that like somehow I'm not you know, like, I'm weaker, or I'm, but that's true, like, it's yeah, hard to so, remember. There's hard to, yeah, but think of, there's so many people that are, like, in our same, the same thing happens to them, and they are, like, they just don't have that same resilience and perseverance, and so, you, like, it's not, I don't know, and it's not their fault that they are, it's just, we have to remember that, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. we're lucky that we have that in our hearts to be driven like that, to do, be, like, this happened, so I'm gonna, yeah, is you're still, co- you still have days where it's, like, you're coping, but you, like, there's a lot of people that aren't where we are, and the same thing happened to them. Yeah. It's, like, to, to me. extreme, you see people have, like, little injuries, or not even injuries, but they have things happen, and it's not, they're not stuck in wheelchairs, they can do it, and they still struggle with it, and it's why are we were lucky enough to, like, mm-hmm. cope with it, and... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think I think people might get the wrong idea, though, and they think, they always think that, like, for me, they think my depression is because of the accident when I've said a million times, like, it has it's nothing not. to do with it. Yeah. The accident made me stronger, blah, 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 blah. Like, um, and I've had depression my whole life. But, I mean, yeah, things are, like, harder, but you don't think about... At least, I, I don't know. Do you, I, I don't think about necessarily, this sucks to be in this chair. Like, I wish I could get out of it. Like, why me? All of that. Like, I just think, man, these cobblestones suck to push over, you know? Like, this is annoying. Yeah. But I don't ever think, like, oh, this is such a crappy situation. I just. Yeah. Yeah. It, I don't know. Yeah, I never really, I don't know, I never really, and I, I know people who, people who know me and my family, I, I really, they would totally say, like, I've, I've never had a down period in regards to my accident, like, I never felt truly bummed about it, I may have had days or hours where I felt sad about something, but I've never felt like, it's like that, like, something that comes up, like, cobblestones, or, like, if I want to go dance, like, it's, like, in that moment, it's like, wow, I wish I could go do that, but I, but then... Something else happens, and I'm like, well, there it is. Mm-hmm. So, weird to be like, because a lot yeah. of people don't have that, and what I don't know what it is, but I don't know. I mean, for you, I just think that's you know amazing because, like, definitely I went through a lot of struggles, which also related to my depression. Like, well, right, I never was depressed, so I don't, yeah, but it, it's normal to go through those, and like, you can't just recover instantly, like. Because you don't know, you have to like learn life all over again and you keep facing new things that you didn't even know were going to be different or you couldn't do or all of that. So it takes years to like have faced enough things to be able to just go through life and not run into a wall where it's like all of a sudden you're smacked in the face and it's like, oh yeah, that's also something that you can't do you know I think for like the first two to five years depending how often you get out of the house and face those new obstacles 
Yeah. Like you can get over it faster. And, yeah. But you didn't really go through that too much. No, and I don't. I I wish my mom was here. Cause she'd be like, yeah, she like. No, I, really I don't know what I don't I don't know everyone's like how and I'm like I don't know I never went through a phase where I was like oh my god like I don't know I don't I I don't know I never got bummed I just took each day as it is and I was like well make the best of it this was my this is my story this is my life so yeah that's super cool that's impressive it, Thank like you. but it's definitely it's yeah it's impressive and we've met people that are still coping with it and their injury like happened like longer than us and they're mm-hmm. might ago. Yeah, and they might be even better off than us and they're still like stuck on being able to walk or being stuck in a and it's just like I like and I just think everyone copes with it and deals with it in their own way and I think that's what makes everyone's story unique and mm-hmm. yeah. we're all different. So we're gonna deal with things differently. I don't think it should be you shouldn't compare yourself to others because that's what makes us unique. Yeah. Like, because going off of that, I was thinking about, like, how we just constantly compare ourselves and the whole, like, we already kind of talked about, like, just being where I am and where you are and life in general. Like, society has these ideas or they put these ideas on us of what success looks like and it's in all the movies and it's, like, all around you, you know, like, you go to college, you get a career that has great benefits, <laughs> you get married, you have kids, you blah, 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 like buy a house, all of that. And it's all like within certain age ranges. And to get that out of your head and kind of just like break past that and and follow your own heart, I mean, it's really hard, but it's kind of it's kind of the same thing as like getting paralyzed and we had I had I had all those ideas of what it meant to be like you know your able-bodied world like I didn't fit in anymore and I didn't have role models or like there was no set plan the only plan that society had that I felt on me like the stigma was that I couldn't do anything you know and that this is my life it's just over but I have to remember that, like, I pushed past that, and I did overcome a lot, and now I am struggling so hardcore, but I can do it again, you know, it's just different now, now I'm overcoming, like, something that I didn't realize I needed to overcome, because I didn't realize it was affecting me as heavily as it is, and, like, turning 29, and the age thing, and, like, it's just, it's scary, but we got this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. Ciao. See you later. Editing.